Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the economic output. But why we are considering this word output here as we haven't even heard of this word much in economics. Let us see that. But before we start, let me ask you a question. What makes a country rich? Is it the money? Is it the money which makes a country rich which is uh, kept in the bank of the government or the people? And also another question how to compare two or more countries in economic terms. That is if there are two countries, let's say country A and country B, okay, then which country is better in economic terms? Is it B or is it A? And if whichever it is, let, let's say it is A, then what is the criteria of comparing these two countries? And the answer to both these questions is the economic output. The economic output is that particular thing which makes two countries or uh, two countries comparable or which makes a country rich or poor. Let's see what is the definition of output. I've seen in certain books and I have just copied paste this particular definition here. It says output. It is an economic term. It is you it is the quantity of goods or services or goods and services produced in a given time period by a firm, industry or country whether consumed or used for further production. Well, f uh, feeling that this particular definition is a little bit horrendous, uh, let's see that in the layman's term. Output is output is the output is the total value the total value total value of everything mind these words every thing that a country produces that a country produces country produces in a given time period in a given time period let me just write it here in a given time period now let's see and expand this definition further when I'm saying it is the total value the total value is counted the total value is counted in terms of in terms of the currency in terms of the currency that is the money just like in science we have SI units we have SI units for example for something which has weight which has weight is counted in kg where something which is liquid liquid is counted in liters similarly the SI unit in layman's term if we say the SI unit of the total value will be counted in terms of the currency like dollar or rupees or euro or things like that anything like that okay well that's the that's the thing that we count the output is being counted in these terms another thing that we see here in the definition is everything when we say everything it includes the goods it includes the goods it includes the services it includes the services goods or services anything which has been made or created by anyone could be firms could be households could be household it could be uh, industries it could be industries it could be government or anyone inside the country or anyone from the country will be will come into the this particular stanza here everything that a country produces if that is being created created in a given time period where the time period could be one year half year or quarter year or anything like that Okay, so just to say this again, output is the total value of everything that a country produces in a given time period. Now let's see how to calculate this output. What is the way that we calculate this or measure, me measure, how to measure the output, how to measure the output. 
well to do that we have several tools with us we have several tools with us tools to count tools to count the output and this output can be calculated for one country or for a region of country like uh, European Union or SAR countries or ASEAN and let's see the tools to count the output and yes to, for the global economy also we we do count or we do measure the output and we use these tools and these tools could be you must have heard certain words GDP GDP that's gross domestic product GNP gross national product or you could have heard NDP net domestic product net national product or words like uh, NNI net national income and so on and so forth these are certain tools to count the output to count the total value of things that a country has produced these are certain kind of outputs here now before we do or before we see how to how to use these tools or the definition and all those things related to these tools let us see what are the major major things that a tool should have or a tool should include and what are the criteria or what are the things that output should uh, rather I will say uh, what are the things that should be given emphasis while counting the output while we count an output there has to be a region there has to be a region defined there has to be a region defined a region could be defined or rather we can say the boundary the boundary or the region could be defined in terms of two ways it could be the geographical limit it could be the geographical limit geographical limit or it could be on the basis of citizenship it could be on the basis of citizenship what does this mean here let's see this when we say geographical limit it says let's say there is a country let's say this is my country mm, let's let it be Saudi Arabia okay let it be Saudi Arabia now as per the boundary of geographical limit it says the things produced in this country only and not anywhere else not anywhere else only in this particular boundary will be considered in the national output will be counted in the national output that is the geographical limit here okay now this is the geographical limit as far as the boundary is concerned other way could be let's say there's another country let's say it is Mauritius 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 in this way here we say it is based on the citizenship so let's see we have few people here residing they are producing something and there are certain Mauritians who are outside Mauritius let's say they are in South Africa here so they are in South Africa and they're also doing certain work they, they 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 have gone to this place to earn better income so this is based on the citizenship it says okay the people of Mauritius whatever they produce doesn't matter whether in the boundary in the boundary or outside the boundary will be counted in the national output this is the other way of creating a boundary and there's another way there's another or rather the third way of creating a boundary well this is a special kind of a boundary where it neglects something where it neglects or exclude something exclude something to be counted in the output to be counted in the output let's see here it say in the region in the region or maybe by citizenship certain things will not be counted will not be counted in the counted in the goods or services produced services produced produced as we know as as for the definition of output is concerned it counts all the things which are goods or services produced here it says what things should not be counted it it comes in this boundary system it says what things should be neglected for example the things 
which are being created by volunteer people or by voluntary system voluntary 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 thing or by welfare thing welfare thing or by barter system or by barter system okay these things will not be included in or while will not be included while counting the output okay so if your mother is preparing food for you inside home it will not be counted it will not be counted in the output or let's say given the tool GDP or NDP and whatever or but yes if your mother is preparing food for commercial basis on commercial basis let's say she prepares food and sells it in the market or in the restaurant then yes it will be counted it will be counted because it is not a welfare thing or a voluntary thing and similarly barter system let's say there's there's a there's a person his name is Rajan okay and there's another fellow named as Anshul okay now Rajan says okay Anshul I have helped you five years ago five years ago while you were reaping your crop now it's time you should uh, help me out as I'm I'm marrying uh, my daughter okay so you should help voluntarily okay marrying my daughter so you should also come and help me in the household task required in the marriage okay so this is this is certain kind of a system where you say okay a volunteer work or a barter system is being worked okay so these things will not be included or will be excluded while counting the output system okay well this is the basic introduction of the output system we'll be discussing that further have a good day ahead before take care have a good day bye bye